Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Jorin OS 17.3 on VMware Workstation. First go to Jorin OS official website that is jorin.com. Enter. See at the time of making this video, Jorin OS 17.3 release. And see here, Jorin OS is the alternative to Windows and Mac OS designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, secure and privacy respecting. Click on download or click on Jorin OS. Either is fine. Click on download. See here we have the different editions. Pro. This is the paid one. Core edition and education edition. These two are the free. Okay. But the installation process for either of these three is same. Okay. So in this video I am going to download and install Jorin OS Core. This is for basic purpose. This is with educational software for schools and students. Okay. Click on download, then click on skip to download. Download will be started. Wait a moment. See, download started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 3.4 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because, see, I have already downloaded. Okay. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. Now click on create a new virtual machine or file and select the new virtual machine. Either is fine. Click on next. Select the installer disk image file and click on browse for the downloaded ISO image. That is Jorin OS ISO image. Select the Jorin OS ISO image and click on open. Click on next. Then select the type operate, guest operating system type as Linux version as Ubuntu 64 bit. Then click on next. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Jorin OS 17.3 VM. Name can be anything. Okay. Then see this is the default location to store this virtual machine files and folders. But if you want some other location, click on browse and select the path where you have the enough space to store this virtual machine files and folders. Select it and click on OK. Click on next, then provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes, then click on next. See, memory selected as 4 gigabytes and number of, C number of CPU cores 2. Still, if you want customize, you click on customize hardware or we can customize this information once we click on finish as well. Click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, click on edit virtual machine settings or right click on it and settings are select the virtual machine then go to vm and settings all three options are same okay if you are okay with all the settings then click on power on this virtual machine now use up and down arrows and select the first one that is try or install jorin OS. okay and hit enter see if cursor is grayed out just press alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor. See, we have the, the cursor is released. Select the language and select the type of installation. So then select the usage of the Jorin OS. If you want to use temporary purpose or testing purpose, you have to click on this try Jorin OS. But if you want to install permanently, click on install Jorin OS. So, we are going to install permanently. So, click on install Jorin OS. Keyboard layout, I am going with the defaults that is English us click on continue if you want to download updates while installing jorin os you can select it and if you want to install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware and additional media formats you have to select the checkbox see these are up to you okay so, so click on continue see now we got the full screen now we have to select the installation type something else or erase disk and install jorin os this is the fresh installation so i am selecting erase disk and Install Jorin OS. Then click on install now. This is just confirmation. Write the changes to disk. Select continue. Then select your location on the globe. Or you can search here also. See, you can search here. Okay. So, I am from India. So, select here. Then click on continue. Now, we have to create our setup user. So, I am giving username. If this is user full name, then here we have to provide computer name or host name. Later also you can change this one. 
then provide the password for this user confirm the same then if you have an existing active directory you have to select the checkbox i don't have anything so click on continue see installation has been started this will take time so i am pausing this video okay after the installation we will restart then we will perform the post installation steps in meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials the installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so click on restart now see the message please remove the installation medium then press enter okay so alt tab to release the cursor right click on this virtual machine go to settings then cd dvd then here device status we have to unselect both then click on ok then come to here and hit enter see now it is restarted now click on username and provide the password that we have set see you got the welcome screen no thanks then go to menu click on utilities go down here you will find the terminal or you can search here or you can search for terminal see we have the terminal click on it increase the font of this terminal click on this three horizontal lines preferences then unnamed then select this custom font if you want to increase the font just you have to click on this plus button then click on select see back side it is increased close this one see font is increased now verify the version of the chorin os that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed chorin os 17.3 and its ubuntu code name is jemmy okay control a if you want to verify ip of this machine remind me later if config see we are unable to find this net tool so first then we can find the ip address by typing ip addr see we have the this is the ip of the machine okay so install it sudo apt install net hyphen tools hit enter provide the password of this user that is sudo user hit enter we have successfully installed verify the ip of the machine by typing if config see we got the ip of the machine okay now the first step after connecting to your invoice is we have to update the package sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter type for for confirmation and hit enter see this will take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install jorin os 17.3 on vmware workstation for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you